Okay, so another one of the questions we get is uh, a customer will call in and will say, my machine runs fine first thing in the morning when I start it up. Um, maybe it's cold outside or whatever, but then after 10 or 15 minutes of driving it, they find that it just doesn't want to go forward or backwards. Um, can you explain how that works and what the problem might be? What happens is as the oil gets warmer, the oil gets thinner, and if there's some damage in the system somewhere, where oil is leaking internally, the warmer the oil gets, the more it leaks internally, therefore the less output that component has, and you experience that as less power or less speed. Uh, on a drive system, this is out of a standard drive pump that's used in almost any brand of machine at some point. <clears throat> These surfaces here spin against each other at two to 3,000 RPMs, and uh, usually 5,000, sometimes more than that, pounds per square inch of pressure. Just imagine 5,000 pounds per square inch. That's roughly, that's a lot of pressure. And there's no rubber seals. You, a rubber seal would blow out under that speed and that load. You can't seal it. So the what the engineers discovered for us is, they can get these tolerances so close that the oil film is thicker than the tolerances and the oil cannot escape through that. So that's what you see. You see this thing spinning on here. This is the inside of your drive pump. And if you got some wear, say it got started dry sometime, say a little bit of dirt got in it, or here's a good one, uh, you replace the hydraulic hose and the person that made the hose didn't wash the little metal shavings out of it that happened when he cut it when he cut it off of the bulk reel to make the hose those little metal shavings will get in that hose so it's not uncommon that somebody's skid loader is working good the hose blows they put a new hose on it and now they have this question that pete just commented on the tolerance on here is right about two millionth of an inch within flat so it's it's perfectly flat it is so flat that oil cannot flow between those two surfaces. Can I put a seal kit in it and fix it? You know, I got a car, I put a kit in my automatic transmission, it works better. I'm sorry, this is metal on metal damage and either the parts need to be refinished or replaced depending on the severity of the damage. Uh, they're typically expensive. One of the Popular OEMs charges $1,100 for this part right here, and another $250 or $300 for this. There's This is only one end of the pump. There's a right and a left, so there's two of these in each pump. Uh, right there, you know, the total of the parts usually costs more than an exchange unit when you have this type of weak drive problem. We can save you a lot of money because if it's not war too bad, it only takes, if you can catch a, a pencil, if you run a pencil across here and it catches the scratch, it's enough that you can feel the effects. So if you're used to working on engines, you know what a little bit of wear looks like and you take it apart, it looks okay, it might not be okay. We get that question occasionally as well. Uh, I redid my pump, I used some of your parts, everything looked good, I put it back together, it's still not working right. But once we look at it, we can explain that those tolerances are so much tighter than anything else in the mechanical industry that it might look good and still be junk.